According to this report, Miss Kate Morton has been kidnapped by Weird Wolf, chief of the Headcase tribe, and carried off to the Rio Bolo Bolo region. What was the young lady doing alone in the desert? Traveling to Fort Dust Bowl to meet her father, Colonel Morton, whom she hadn't seen in years. You see, she was raised by her mother, but during the trip, she had a slight disagreement with the members of the wagon train accompanying her, so she set out on her own. A disagreement? Your fist fight would be more accurate. Tell me, Lucky Luke, have you ever heard of Colonel Morton? If his daughter takes after him, then everyone in that wagon train must have been relieved to see her go. Okay, so you want me to visit the head cases and bring her back, right, Governor? Not exactly, Luke. You see, when the Colonel learned that his daughter was in Indian hands, he decided to raise a detachment of volunteers and set off on a rescue mission. Huh? An army detachment in head case territory? Why, that's crazy. Which is why he couldn't find a single volunteer. But he's a friend of President Grant's, so he obtained a presidential order authorizing him to raise his detachment using prison inmates who are serving long sentences. And did he find any volunteer inmates? Y yes. Four of them. Listen up, scumbags! We're leaving for Rio Bolo Bolo in two days. That's two days in which I have to turn you four miserable worms into a team of trained fighting men. And let me tell you, I intend to get you up to speed. We'll be speedy, all right. If anybody attempts to desert, he'll get a taste of my land! And believe me, I never miss! On the other hand, if a mission is a success, I will personally see to it that your sentence is cut in two. Joe, how much is 4,756 years divided by two? You wanna talk, soldier? Yeah! When do we get to eat? In the army, you march first, then you get your rations! On the double! March! Left, right, left, right, left, right! Knees up, chest out, back straight! Move it, move it, move it! Aren't you glad you volunteered? <laughs> <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right! Got a problem, soldier? Yeah, I got a problem. The knapsack weighs more than I do, so I figure it ought to be carrying me. If your legs won't do the job anymore, then your arms can take over! One of yeah. push ups 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90! These rations look awful trashy. I think I'd rather do push ups than eat. 100! <laughs> Who wants leftovers? Real time's over! You're not here to stuff your faces! It's time for some weapons training! We will now hand out your rifles. As soon as we get the guns, we'll plug him, then escape. What? They're made of wood. You'll get some real rifles when we attack the head cases, not before. Is this your idea of a joke? No, we did what you said. 100 push-ups! <laughs> oh, my dear Kate, you must have turned into a lovely lady since the last time I saw you. Faster, you're going too slow! 57, 58, 59, move it, scumbags! Hang on, Kate, my little baby kids. Dad is on his way to save you from the clutches of those savages. <laughs> Greetings, Greasy Grizzly. Why you barge into my teepee like this? <coughs> All of the other Braves have delegated me to come here and... <laughs> Inform you, Great Chief Weird Wolf, that we would like to, uh, well, launch a small complaint against uh, the pale faced lady. Greasy Grizzly better be mighty careful when he talks about future squaw of Weird Wolf! She's putting strange ideas into the heads of our women. You've got to do something, Chief! Strange ideas? What strange ideas? Well, all of a sudden, the squaws don't want to cook our pemmican, or wash our loincloths, or, or get up in the night to change the papooses. Hmm. Well, 
braves are out hunting for food, squaws must do housework in teepee. Weird Wolf has spoken. Too bad, so sad. But it's not fair that women should always have to do the chores. Right on! Weird Wolf can't allow woman who will one day share his teepee to speak to him with that kind of tone in front of his braves. Weird Wolf had better get used to this tone, or he could share his teepee all by his lonesome! Kate Martin has spoken. Weird Wolf really likes it when his slinky mink gets hot under the collar. <laughs> left, right, left, right, hook, lively, slow pokes. Left, right, left, right, get those knees up, get those chests out. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Three more hours to lights out. Move it, move it, move it. I think I may lose it. That prison better only had to break rocks, not carry them. Tonight, while well, that crazy girl is sleeping, we're going to sneak out of here. Joey, I'm so tucked out, I can't sneak out. Let's rest a bit and then we'll escape. You're going for a night march! Now get moving! Left, right, left, right! Get those knees up! I want 400 laps of this fort before dawn! Are you sure we're in the cavalry and not the infantry? Uh, shut up, Admiral! Left, right, left, right, left, right! Get those chests out! Men, we will soon be facing the bloodthirsty head cases in a fierce and desperate battle. Therefore, I will now teach you the basics of hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right, scumbags, I want you to hit me. Come on, you heard me. Hit me. That's an order. Sir, yes, sir, Colonel Morton. Arrgh. Let's work on your attitude. You gotta be full of rage to flatten your enemy. You, the short one, come here. All right, now I want you to think of something that makes you really mad. Joe, you earning your stripes? Lucky Luke! Lucky Luke! But he's already earned his stripes. His prison stripes. Yeah, that's the attitude. Now attack me. That's fine. You can stop now. I said stop. Somebody help me. Go. Well, he certainly does have fighting spirit as long as he doesn't go to pieces. Training's over. Now give those recruits some proper uniforms. Colonel Morton, Lucky Luke. Uh, uh, the governor has sent me to be your scout and help you to find your daughter. I'd have preferred an artillery regiment. Ah, you know the Rio Bolo Bolo region, and you worked as a scout for the 20th Regiment. You may come in handy after all. I also know the Daltons, Colonel, and I know the only things you'll get from them are stupidity and nastiness. Mister, intelligence and goodness are useless qualities in a soldier, so save your advice and leave me to Weird Wolf. The first chance we get, we'll plug Lucky Luke, get rid of the Colonel, and head for the hills. I don't think these pants are the right size. They're good for standing at attention, but not for marching. Now let's get things straight, fellows. I know you've come on this mission so you can head for the hills the first chance you get. Us? How can you think that? No, we decided to volunteer for the mission because we sympathize with a worried father. Yes, we feel his pain. But Joe, you just said that we should... <laughs> <laughs> you see, Luke, we wouldn't dream of leaving that poor innocent girl at the mercy of them cruel, savage Indians. So it's settled. From now on, the Braves will do the cooking every second day. Of course, my shining shrew. And the laundry. Whatever you say, my golden-haired groundhog. They'll clean the teepees and look after the papooses. You know I cannot refuse you anything, my splendid, shapely sea lion. 
The pale-faced woman has made Weird Wolf even weirder than usual. Muttering Marmot, we have to do something about this. Right. It's a question of head case dignity. <laughs> Colonel, I'm begging you, let me go alone. I know I can bring Kate back safe and sound. Forget about it, mister. Nothing will make me shirk my responsibilities as a father. What would my daughter think if I allowed a stranger to rescue her? Soldiers! The time has come to find out whether you have fire in your bellies! I ain't got nothing in my belly. We didn't eat breakfast. You! Yes, you! You look to me like a leader of men. I'm promoting you to sergeant. Avril is sergeant? He's a military man. -ness. All right, soldiers, move out! <laughs> I say we solve the problem by returning the pale-faced woman to her own people. No, Dizzy Lizard, I disagree. She might decide to come back. Muttering Marmot, are you suggesting more drastic measures? I don't want her to come to harm, Greasy Grizzly, but I was thinking perhaps we could lose her in the desert. I didn't see Kate grow up. She was still little when her mother took her back east. I never knew why my wife left. She had all she needed to be happy. She didn't even have to shine my boots. I had an orderly do that. Soldiers, stop! We're gonna make camp right here. You men will pitch the tents, dig a trench for protection, and then put up a stockade. Well done, soldiers. You've earned a good rest. You have a full 15 minutes until we break camp. The headcase camp is on the other side of that canyon, Colonel. It's going to be mighty hard to get close without being spotted. In that case, mister, we'll wear camouflage. Camouflage? But, Colonel, we're in the middle of the desert. On my signal, we'll make our break. Pass it on. On Joe's signal, we make our break. Pass it on. On Joe's signal, we make our break. On Joe's signal, we... Wait a minute. Hey, I'm a sword joint. Let's go. I'm the one who's supposed to give the signal. Play out of this, mister. It's an army matter. Horses, ho! Ah! <laughs> Mister, I believe I just found the answer to your question. We'll wear cactus camouflage. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Colonel. Hang I... on, mister. Let me remind you that I'm in charge here. I decide whether an idea is good or not. Oh, beautiful beaver, your lunch is ready. <laughs> I made you a nice big bowl of cornmeal just the way you like it. My little slinky mink, where are you? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Your wolfy wolf is calling you. Just my lousy luck. I drew the short feather again. No oh, beautiful beaver. Slinky mink, where are you? I found the path to the head case camp. All right, man, move out. To make your camouflage effective, Colonel, you might be better off going in on foot. Mister, the United States Cavalry never advances on foot. It's a matter of principle. for you. 
Since when do headcase braves send pastel smoke signals? Have you forgotten, Chief? This is an odd-numbered day. The braves are in the teepees, and the squaws are standing guard. What does the message say? One pale face and five cactuses on horseback are approaching the camp. Oh, great. They've spotted us. You'd be wise to get out of your camouflage, Colonel. You'll be needing your hands to shoot. Huh? What's going on? The cactuses are empty, Colonel. Hate to admit it. Nice trick. Let's get out of here. Fast! Genius! I'm a genius! Do you know which way we came, Joe? That way! We really should have brought some water with us, Joe! Yeah, instead of that stupid flag! I'm planning to hang it on the wall of our cell soon as Lucky Luke recaptures us! Ah, give me that flag! I want to use the stick to make a moron kebab! Calm down, Joe! This is no time to get in a tizzy! I can't get this camouflage off! Well, what are you waiting for? Start shooting! Sorry, Colonel, but I don't shoot at ladies. I'm thirsty, Joe! I got blisters, Joe. And I'm real hungry, Joe! Hang in there, guys. We'll be out of this canyon in no time. The flag! We're going in circles. See, I think maybe we should follow the thread. The thread? What thread? I don't see your daughter, Colonel. Turns out you were right, mister. The camouflage was a bad idea. I wonder what we'll find when we reach the end of the line. You won't find a thing. That's where I'm coming from. The eleven and a half? My father's regiment. What the heck is my father doing here? She's a chip off the old block. Hey, this means our sentence is reduced to 2,378 years. Colonel, do you carry a picture of your daughter? Yes, it's in my shirt pocket, but it's not very recent, I'm afraid. Listen, Lady Braves. We have come here in peace. We are searching for the daughter of my pale face companion. There's a picture of her in the pocket of his shirt. Look at that picture and tell us if you've seen that squaw. Oh. Where can she have gone? Red Wolf looks as sad as Mothering Mama did when Naughty Nightingale left him for Dandy Gander. But I always did everything she wanted. Everything. Cheer up, Great Chief. I know you'll find another squad just like her. <laughs> Muttering Marmot, you sure know how to cheer a guy up. Look, it's my slinky mink. <laughs> I've got a pemmican on the fire. And I have a load of loincloths to starch. And it's time for me to change my papoose. Honeybee, me glad to see Later. you. I've got a bone to pick with your loyal braves. But first I'm going to wash some dirty linen. In public. Lucky Luke and the Colonel at my mercy. <laughs> oh, my feet hurt. Joe, I'm real thirsty. I'm hungrier than ever. We need weapons. Weird Wolf was worried sick. Huh? Well, well, Dad, it seems you've come to my rescue. Kate, my baby girl, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, um, how's your mother doing? Ah! After 20 years of never getting in touch, now you want to know how mom is? Well, sweetheart, I, uh, I was terribly busy with my work and... Is this your father, my slinky mink? Weird Wolf is very happy to meet future daddy-in-law. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> my daughter will never marry a savage! She'll marry a military man! 
Kate, you will do what I tell you. Weird Wolf will marry his golden-haired honeybee. And if Daddy in law doesn't agree, Weird Wolf will torture Daddy in law till he comes around. Never. I will never give you my daughter's hand, you uncivilized. She's not your daughter. She is my squad. <laughs> Good heavens, Kate, you wouldn't. I am your father. Yes, and I'm glad I got to see you again, Dad, because now I know Mom was right. So take your men and go. I'll send you a wedding notice. His men? What men? The four nitwits I met while I was in the canyon. Where are they, anyhow? Here! <gasps> Don't need anybody move. Come on, Jack, William, Avril, let's get... Hmm? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Kate Morton married Weird Wolf. With her husband, she founded the Suffragettes, crisscrossing the United States in her tireless campaign to defend the rights of women and Indians. After their contact with Kate Morton, the head case Braves did things a little differently. And Colonel Morton had a slight change of style after meeting his daughter. Oh, Tantrum, if you don't mind. As for the Daltons, well, they'll always be the Daltons. <laughs>